Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Verdi. I'm a licensed nail tech, small business owner, and content creator. If you enjoy this content, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. So today we're doing some Madam Glam products that I have received in PR. The first things that I'm going to go over are their pudding gels. Now I have used these already for a video that I recorded and I will never upload because I hated the design. So um, also showing the brush that they sent me, the application brush for these pudding gels. And the first color that I'm doing is turquoise blue. And this color wasn't as firm as the other colors. It wasn't as thick and you'll see that shortly. And I'm showing you the swatches in a matte and shiny coat. But before we continue, I wanna show you guys how to clean the color out of your brushes. I'm just using a clear gel. In this situation, it's a base coat. And I'm just pushing the blue color, the color, the pigment out of the brush by just pressing it against a napkin, then flipping it over and just wiping it off. And you might have to go in multiple times with multiple um, drops of gel, but that's how I get the gel color out of my brush before moving on to the next color. So pretty simple. You can use any clear gel that you like and just giving it a final wipe before I move on. So the second color that I'm going to be swatching is Fresh Peach. And you can see this one is a little bit thicker. On this application one, what I really realized, cause I don't use gels like this too often, I realized that going in with less is better and you'll see that application on the next swatch. But when I went in with more, I kept getting lines, so I kept having to like go over it over and over until I got that smooth finish. So definitely when you're using pudding gels or gels like this, go in with a thinner layer and you will have to probably do two coats of um, coverage, depending on how opaque they are, but um, definitely when you're going in, less is more. So that color again was Fresh Peach. This color that I'm doing now is Tulip Pink. And I will leave the, all of the colors that I swatch in order that I swatch them in the description box below. I do have a discount code for Madam Glam or a link that will take you directly to my, um, excuse me, my discounted site. And so that way you won't have to put in a code. Both of them will be in the description box below. So now I'm going to go, sh I'm going to show you some of the minis that they sent me. Um, the minis is something that's new as well as their pudding gels. The first color that I'm swatching is called Maddie. And for all of the mini gels that I used, I only did one coat of coverage. So Madam Glam is a pretty good quality gel, gel polish brand. I have used them um, before, especially when I first started. And I still continue to like the brand, even though now I do have a discount code with them. So the next uh, color is Birthday Boy, and it's kind of a minty color, but not as light, not as pastel. So it's like a darker minty color, if that makes sense. And that color again is Birthday Boy. And the next color I'm gonna be swatching is Jenna. So a couple things about Madam Glam, they are um, vegan, so they don't use any like animal derived ingredients and they are 21 free formula. So 21 of the most toxic chemicals they don't use in their formulas. So if that is important to you, this would be a good polish to use. And like I said, it's really, I do like the quality of their polishes. The next color I'm going to be using is called Razzle's Pink. And I believe all of these are um, available in the normal size as well. It's just now they're starting to offer minis. So this, the minis are 3.5 milliliter. And then the pudding gels, those are 5 grams each pot. So this color again is Razzle's Pink. And the last color I'm going to swatch is... You're one in a melon. So I do like the options of being able to get a regular size um, polish or a mini size polish. Like, so if as far as being a DIYer, if you want to have a lot of different colors and want to know that you're going to go through your collection, I think the mini ones are great. 
But if you're like a uh, press on creator or a nail tech, I do think the bigger bottles are better, but those are just my opinions. So the next shot is of all of the colors that I did swatch for this video. And here are the two other brushes that they did send to me. Um, all of the brushes are nylon fiber. And so this is a striping brush. This one's a little bit thick. It's not as thin as um, to get the really, really detailed work. And then this is a dotting tool they sent me, which has a really small point. So you'll get the smaller dots with this. They do have more brushes on their website, um, different sizes and things like that. So definitely check that out. Um, like I said, I do have a code for them that will be in the description box below. And that's pretty much it for this video. It was a short one. If you've enjoyed this content, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and definitely make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and I'll see you again soon.